Now, a few technical questions. First, do 3D printed tablets look and feel like conventional compressed tablets? So they look different. Um, that's also because of the way that they are being produced uh, in a layer by layer fashion. So you can really see the layers uh, in the tablet. Um, furthermore, we use a, uh, a mixture that, is, uh, that has a wax-like feel. Uh, it seems to be a wax, a bit like a candle wax. So it can be quite uh, weird for patients to, to see the tablet. Um, though I also have to say that the healthy volunteers that, they, that took the 3D printed tablets, I asked them what they thought uh, about the feel, the mouth feel as well. Uh, how they experienced swallowing the tablets and they really looked at me like I was crazy because it was just swallowing a tablet so they didn't really see the difference uh, with a normal tablet so um, I think it depends on the patient that has to take the tablet um, they do look different uh, but uh, it's not that does not necessarily mean that the patient experiences it differently from a normal tablet no hmm Nice to know. Next question. What is the ink? Uh, I mean, the solution or suspension that you use to, to print the tablets. And what makes it change into a solid tablet? It, is it heated or, or does it harden on exposure to air? Uh, um, how does it work? Yeah, so we specifically use um, lipid semi-solid extrusion, uh, which means that um, our main substance in the mixture is what well, no, kind of a lipid substance. It's polyethylene glycol monosterate, um, and um, it melts at about uh, well 45, uh, 50 degrees Celsius. Then it's um, completely melted. Um, however, if you stay below that temperature, it softens, but it doesn't quite melt. And that is the temperature at which we operate. So we keep it just below the melting point uh, so that it does become pliable and it can be molded in uh, the, uh, the layers uh, for the 3D printed tablet. Uh, but it's still so, um, well, not fast, yeah, fast, I think, a bit, um, for the, uh, well, in this case, sildenafil not to settle in the mixture as well, because that's the other uh, side of it. If it's completely melted, the drug can settle in your mixture, and then you don't have a homo homogeneous mixture, which can uh, result in um, um, dosing errors. So that's, uh, but in this way, we don't, um, uh, have to well worry as much about that um, and uh, with this uh, because it's a lipid uh, and we can keep it uh, until uh, just up until the right temperature we also don't have to use water or any other uh, solution to uh, make it moldable uh, which uh, uh, you see with a lot of other uh, semi-solid extrusions so we don't need a drying step and we don't also have the uh, chemical stability issues uh, that you would expect when for instance uh, water is used. Mm. It occurs to me listening to you um, is it a bit like making suppositories in the old days? Yes exactly it is um, so um, in the olden days when you had to mix your own suppositories and you would use a mortar and pestle, you would be frantically mixing and pouring the mixture in the, in the molds, um, trying to keep the API from settling, trying to keep the drug from settling, uh, which is also exactly what we're doing here. But instead of completely melting the substance, we keep it at a temperature that uh, it's not horrible, but it is moldable. Mm -hmm. Now, please, can you tell me about your project? What did it involve? And why was sildenafil chosen as the active pharmaceutical ingredient, the, the API? 
So for this project specifically, we wanted to see whether we could produce uh, or develop and produce a 3D printable formulation uh, for the pediatric patients that would adhere to all the guidelines that apply to it. So that would be, in our case, a European pharmacopeia for the quality control, uh, but also the EMA guidelines for bioequivalence uh, for the clinical um, uh, yeah, the equality of the of the drug, and uh, we chose sildenafil as a proof of concept drug uh, because, from our experience, uh, sildenafil is one of those drugs that the pediatric patients cannot be treated with well at the moment. Um, sildenafil is a drug that is used for arterial pulmonary hypertension, so a high blood pressure in the lungs. Um, and sildenafil is perfect to lower that um, hypertension in, um, in the pediatric population, so in smaller children. Um, but the tablets that are on the market have the incorrect dose, so they're too high uh, of a dose uh, for the pediatric patients. Um, and while there's also an oral suspension on the market, uh, even that suspension has such a high concentration that the small children still cannot be accurately treated with uh, with that drug. So that is why we felt that there is a need uh, for a formulation containing sildenafil uh, to be able to treat that pediatric population.